Good afternoon, everybody. This is Rick Benez coming to you from Fred Ria, the real estate investor group of Fredericksburg. And I wanted to share with you the numbers that we've got for September of 2023. Um, the numbers have uh, gotten softer, um, but that's to be expected. And that's primarily due to the higher interest rates, of course. But let's take a look at it. Let's compare it to last month and last year at this very same time. So we're looking at September of 2023. The new listings came in at 491. The five-year September average is 742. So we're almost about 250 units less in terms of new listings. Uh, that's 18% down from last month, and from last year, it's down 36%. When you look at new pending, we had 414 new pending units. The five-year September average is 630. Uh, comparing that to last year, we are down a negative 25%. Um, and in terms of closed sales, we only closed 435. The five-year September average is 617. And we're down 21% from September of 2022. Um, if you look at the median sold price, um, that actually came down from last month slightly. It's now the median sold price is 435, 435,000, but it's up from September of 22 by 3.6%. Um, in September of 2022, it was 420,000, and now we're looking at 435,000. Uh, the five-year September average has been $374,600. Um, paying attention to the graph, you can see the closed sales has slowly gone down. Um, and if you're comparing it to the seasonality, it makes sense. Um, you know, interest rates are quite a bit higher than they were last year. Um, and then you compare that to the inventory being very low, uh, that's causing sales prices to go up. Uh, and that's where we're getting this median sold price of 435. In terms of active listings, we're now at 859 active listings. Um, the last month, it was 848, so it slightly ticked up a little bit in terms of active listings. Um, but compared to last year of September, it's down about 150 units. The average days on market continues to go up about a day every month is what I'm seeing. So last month it was 23. Uh, this month, September is 25. If you look at September of 22, it was 23. Um, the five-year average uh, for September has been 26. So it's it's uh, tracking at, at the same amount. In terms of the average sold to the OLP, which is the original list price ratio, we're at 99.2%. Um, that's still very high. Sellers are getting their price and they're still in the driver's seat. Uh, looking at the detailed report, um, we're gonna get into some very uh, unit specific heavy numbers here. Uh, you can kind of see where this um, average sold price, we did the median sold price, but you look at the average sold price is up 6%. Uh, last, uh, I should say last year, it was 448,000 with the list price last year in September of 2022. This year, the average sold price was 475,632. Again, up 6%. Um, let's see if we wanna get into um, let, you can look at the attached average sold price. As you may recall, attached means a townhome. So um, homes that are attached to one another is a townhome. And then the detached is the average sold price. So if you look at the attached, uh, it came in at 383000 the average selling price for a townhouse, whereas the detached home was coming in at 490000 so there's definitely a, um, a difference between the two units, and it's it's trending about a hundred and ten thousand dollar difference in, in price and value. Uh, looking at the, uh, we talked about the new listings, we talked about the active listings, um, but you'll also notice the uh, new pendings are down twenty five percent, and that's significant. And if you if you look at the uh, way in which the financing numbers are coming in. Conventional is still the number one way in which people are financing their properties. 182 people 
financed it with conventional loans, followed by uh, VA loans at 105, which makes sense in our area. And then FHA came in with 79 units and cash was 57 units and one assumption. Uh, if you look at the uh, days on market, um, most homes are selling within the first 20 days. Um, it averages about 275 units uh, in terms of the number that sold. There still were a number of homes that had been on the market for at least three, six, even nine months. Um, and you can see the, uh, this is probably where we're going to see some price cuts, you know, where people are, you know, they're, the dog doesn't like the dog food, as I like to say to my clients. So, you know, if, if, if you see that home is on the, it's on the market for more than 30 days, there is either the price isn't right, which is generally the case, or there's something wrong with the home that's causing the, the, the buyers out there not to acquiesce or agree to that price. Uh, but there were four properties that sold that were over a year old on the market. So that's quite interesting. Uh, in terms of the detailed report, um, there's three things I want to kind of point out. Look at the price band in the three-bedroom detached versus four-bedroom. And you can see that majority of the sales are coming in at three bedrooms at that 300 to 399 price range, that price band. Whereas four-bedroom detached is coming in, generally speaking, at that 400 to 499, 400,000 to 499. And of course, that kind of correlates with our average selling price if you think about it. Um, but when you start to get into the specifics of, in terms of which, what is going on in that area for this, for this um, number of bedrooms, you can see that the average sold price uh, for four, three bedrooms was 402,000. And for four bedrooms detached, the average sold price was 568. Um, so it's, uh, there's about $150,000, $160,000 difference that that bedroom represents. Uh, in terms of active listings, there's a, the majority of the active listings are between 300 and 800,000, with most of them pegged at the 400 to 499 price band. So if you are a flipper or you're somebody that is looking at doing a a burr in this market, you definitely want to keep that in mind in terms of what you're buying it for, what the repairs are, and then what the property is actually going to sell for. These are the sale prices. So you have to kind of keep that in mind and you have to make sure it's meat on the bone. So anyway, guys, I hope this information is helpful. And if you have any specific questions, please reach out to myself. Um, and I look forward to hearing from anybody. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.